Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the car. Yep. Look who I have. I have a Robert today. Yes. We are running errands like crazy people today. We have a lot to get done, so we thought we'd take you with us. Uh, we just dropped the truck off, and uh, it's going to get its tires, his tires rotated and balanced. Yes, he has a gender. And uh, so does Finn. And then when the truck is done, we're going to bring Finn over and get in the truck and have Finn's tires rotated and balanced. And then tomorrow they get their alignment done. Yep. Anyway, so right now we're going to go head to the dry cleaner. And then we're going to uh, go somewhere else, and I'll let you know then. We're at Trader Joe's. Uh oh, something hit that. There was a big truck here the other day, but that's not good. I mean, how do you do that up there? Oh, I guess a truck coming through here must have hit it. Okay. I didn't realize that was a loading dock. Oh, so pretty. I've seen that before or not. Clementine, not that I do like. Strawberry, gluten free. Oh, I bet those are good. Stones, they're not gluten free. Oh, look at those croissants. Pancake bread, never heard of that. Chocolate croissants. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Mm. Olive bread, brioche bread. Let's see, oh, they moved things, okay. <gasps> Gluten-free madeleines. Oh, that's nice. Gluten-free oatmeal coconut cookie. Oh my gosh. Chocolate. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> they do. Trader Joe's is my favorite. I, their bagels are my favorite. Um, this, their whole, their regular bread. This one is my favorite. I, I haven't tried that. Their cupcakes are my favorite. Look at these. They have giant oatmeal coconut cookies and chocolate, chocolate chunk. And look, gluten-free madeleines. And then those are hamburger buns. This is something I have not seen. Gluten-free quinoa. What's in there? Tapioca, quinoa, potato starch. I don't know if I can have quinoa. I have no idea. I have to try that sometimes. Ooh, English muffins. Let's see, they're the strawberry, oh, the double chocolate muffins and the coffee, cinnamon coffee cake muffins, yum. And then some of my favorites over here. Yes, honey. All right, I'm just going to look very quickly. I wanted to see if they still had the gluten-free, but yeah, these. These are what I normally get. 
Also like the ones from, uh, yeah, gluten-free. Okay. Like the ones from, uh, oh, I can't remember the brand. Ooh. That's peanut butter and chocolate. That's not my thing. That's still gluten-free. That's vegan also. Coconut date. It's a granola bar, gluten-free. Delicious. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna come here before our next trip and get chewy chocolate peanut butter protein bars. Doesn't say gluten-free. Contains milk, soy, and peanuts. Trader Joe's really good about saying gluten-free though. Maybe I just missed it. Okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, this is this is my kind of thing. Again, doesn't say gluten-free on the front, so we'll have to see. I'll do a little research, but these, where is it? Those are good, and that is good. So that's basically all I need. These are new, new to me anyway. Gluten-free and chocolate chip gluten-free. Nice, thank you, Trader Joe. And of course they have the little Oreo ones. Are these gluten-free? I don't think so. No. Mm. Gotta love Trader Joe. Nice. Look at these gluten free cauliflower pizza crust. Looks a little crispy, which is hard to find. Uncured pepperoni. Mm, that looks so good. Of course, I got some fettuccine. We got Robert some burritos. Mushroom risotto. Ricotta. Mushroom. Mm. And gnocchi, cauliflower and gnocchi, breaded fried ravioli. They like that. I'd probably pick some of that up here. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to give this to Robert. So we got some feta cheese. We got some sparkling water. We got the mini tacos for above. We got these burritos for Robert to try. Some more green beans and fried ravioli. Okay. Basically, we use Trader Joe as like the snack food place. <laughs> you know, a lot of frozen food, which, you know. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Okay, they still have them. That's for my next cruise. That's coming with me. Mm. And these. No, that's the pretzel ones. They had almond butter bites. Where are those? Peanut butter pretzels. Mm, I don't see them anymore. I'm sure they're somewhere, I'm just missing them. Okay, they're down here. Almond butter cups, mini. So, I don't know. These aren't the ones that I had seen before. They were like something different, but obviously I can't remember, so I'm not that crushed by it. But I did pick these up for Chandler and Rob. They love the little mini ones. Okay. Raw and uh, there's no difference in the ingredients, but it's six ninety nine. So I think I'm gonna stick with the H E B because H E B is like three ninety nine. I think it is. So, mm. Mm, all the cheeses, yummy, yummy. Not today. Do you want any chips or anything? You want any chips or anything? I love plantain chips and banana chips. I love those. All right. Don't need anything. It's full time. All right, let's go check out. All right, we bought another cold bag because we only have one and I'm finding we need two in the seat, especially when we're doing a, you know, Costco and HBR and Trader Joe. All right, heading to the car, and Robert's gonna go to Sonic, get a cherry slushie, yeah. and then been we're- been craving one for a week now. He really has. I don't know why he doesn't just get one. It's just inconvenient. Yeah. And then we're going to go to Whole Foods. Whew, it was harrowing getting out of that <laughs> Trader Joe's. <laughs> Between people doing it wrong in the Esplanade. And not using a turn signal. Yes, goodness. Um, that hurt people. No. So you want to see two people rant go the wrong way in the Esplanade? Or not use a turn signal. Or not use a turn signal. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to take Robert to get his slushy, and then we're going to go, in case she didn't hear me, we're going to go to Whole Foods. Um, 
So there, I want to look for pizza at Whole Foods. That's what I'm looking for. Oops. And, um, uh, yeah, so Robert's, Robert's looking for something. Hang on. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I tried it. This one is the, the cranberry clementine. Eh, it's okay. The, the bubbly, bubbly, whatever, the <laughs> bubbly ones are the best. And, and the Waterloo, bubbly and Waterloo. But I drink the store brand mostly. I'll get bubbly if it's on sale, but this doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, oh, Mama Mia for you? Mama Mia. Mm. I don't know if I said anything about this in the vlog, but when we were on Allure with the kids for spring break, we were watching Mama Mia. They were so excited. You have to understand, all my children are musical. And these two in particular are very musical. And the whole family was there, you know, and they were all looking forward to seeing the play. And understand, they've never seen the movie. So they didn't, like, they didn't know how it ended, any of that stuff. So we're watching and watching, and about, what, 30 minutes in? No, it, it was, was about two thirds of the way. Yeah. They had just had intermission. Yeah. And had started the. So we had intermission, and then they came back and they started it up. And then all of a sudden, as we're sitting there watching their mid song, she's jumping on the bed, the lights go out. Go out. Everything goes out. And then the theater lights come on, and they made the announcement that they canceled the show because of rough seas. Rough seas. It's like, oh no! So they were wondering how it ended, and I was like, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you. And so they came home and they watched it. But um, and then having just seen the theater version and then the TV, the vi movie version, they were pretty impressed with the mm -hmm. Royal Caribbean's. I thought they did a good job. Um, yes. There were a couple slow spots in it, but I thought they did a really good job. Nothing compared to how slow Cats was, but when we saw Cats, it was. Not a full production. He's laughing because they were miserable. It's it was not a full production of Cats. It was their limited version, so they didn't do any of the acrobats. They didn't do. They just sang like forty-seven very slow songs. So Cats was not my favorite. No, it was not. Anyway, so all right. Well, um, yeah, we're waiting on his. He got a big one because it's like a hundred and four degrees outside. Okay, it's 96 out. It's 11.52 and 96 degrees, so. Not including humidity, humidity. so heat factor is probably 104. Yeah, so he got a, uh, he got a Route 44. The yeah. big one. He knows he likes it, so. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm excited that he got to have one. So, anyway, we had to figure out what stall we were in, because if you order in the app, it's happy hour all the time, it's 50% yep. off. Yeah. Saving money. Yeah, but he just paid the difference in, ta in tip. Right. So, because it's hot, and these people are coming out here in the heat anyway. Okay, that's enough. Okay, here we are at Whole Foods. Man, that was an ordeal. Sonic was like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. They were slammed, and then somehow our order was lost. I don't know. That's in the lady next to us. So, but it all worked out in the end. No big deal. Okay, Carabas is over there in the corner, and a little fact he no longer does, but Cookie. Uh, that's where Cookie worked during the pandemic. So Cookie, the cruise director for Carnival. And there is World Market over there, but we don't have, what'd you say? Oh, really? We don't have any, um, that we have cold groceries in the car, so we can't go there today. All right, the inside, one second. Thank you. There's Waterloo, ooh, pineapple Waterloo, yummy. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a strong smell. Got Robert right when we walked in. Ooh. Mm. I have to stay focused. <laughs> All right, I need a lemon for Chandler. All right, I'll be right back. Ah, lemons. Wow, when Whole Foods is a whole dollar less than Sprouts, that's pretty impressive. I'm gonna get some of these had these in a while. I like them as hash browns. They're very delicious as hash browns. Okay. Just need some garlic. I usually like to buy it like already 
cold, you know. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> All right, where are you going? Ooh, salmon. Mm. What is that? Well caught uh, Chilean sea bass. Mm. Ooh, look at those Brussels sprouts. Okay. Ooh, cola vita, white wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil. That looks good. All right, I just need garlic. Let me find the garlic. I'll be right back. Look at the size of that parsnip. I love parsnips. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna find the garlic. No garlic. Hmm, <laughs> I'll find some garlic. All right, we need penne pasta. Don't need anything fancy, just penne. I love fancy pasta though. <laughs> Ooh, gourmet Texas pasta. Do silly Jerry? Yep. From Seinfeld. Yep. Mmm. Look at that rigatoni up there. Ah. Oh, yummy and yoki. Gluten free and yoki. No gluten free. Be silly. Gluten free penne. I'm pretty picky about my gluten-free pasta. I don't like corn pasta. The Banza chickpea pasta is really pretty good. Uh, the Jovial, I really like the Jovial. There's another brand. I have to see it to remember the brand. To remember the brand. I haven't tried the grain-free yet, though. I need to. I will eventually. Okay, so we got pasta. Now I need frozen peas. Chandler is making a recipe, so but he's just requested a couple things. I'll pick up for him, but. Um, so, mm. okay, I wanted to look at, they have this perfume that everybody's going crazy about that I had actually never heard of until I watched a video the other day and they talked about it. Here it is. It's this stuff. So apparently this is like a big deal. So I'm going to smell. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't get any of them. Um, I don't know, it's just not... You can't really smell them, and so, because you can't open them, and I don't know. Okay, frozen peas and pizza. We are looking for this, this pizza right here. So I have to make my own. I'm tired of making my own. All right. I just can't ever do it. Look at that. I just, I can make it for less than that. And I just, I can't spend $11.99 on a pizza. I can't do it. All right, let me get Chandler his frozen peas. I just need to take the time to make the pizza crust. I just don't want to. All right, frozen peas, where are you? Probably over on this side. Yep, there you are, frozen peas. Ooh, I love Whole Foods. We don't come here very often because <laughs> of the abundance that is Whole Foods. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if they have the A2 cream for Chandler, but mm, let's see. Usually they have a pretty good yeah, selection. Ooh, look at that, gluten-free. Nice. Okay. cream oh look at that that's nice to see because a lot of times recipes call for that and I don't know what it is <laughs> alrighty so let's get Chandler some heavy whipping cream Ooh, it's very expensive hold on I've never seen the coffee cake one so I'll give it a try and I'll get heavy whipping cream somewhere else it's, it's pretty expensive here so Superfood creamer, Califa Farms Heavy Whip. Oh, dairy free, nice. Never seen that before. That's nice to see. Uh, Robert picked me up two Faye's at uh, the store yesterday, so I don't need any yogurt. And I wasn't, I stopped, I mean, we went through the grass fed one, that, wherever it is. I, we went through that. I, I didn't want to spend that much money on it, so. I just get the Faye, which is just as good. So, okay. Mm, 
I know. All I do is show you sweets. Yummy. Well, okay, here's some healthy foods. You got salads, tofu, turkey, chicken. Mm, big salads, but look at all that. The fresh food up there. Yum. But this, this caught my attention. Tabbouli salad. Uh, that's a Greek quinoa salad. Black beans, smoked mozzarella, mixed berry, power salad, corn salad. That right there. That is my favorite. Cucumber salad. Oh, it's my favorite. Mmm. Yummy. Alright. There were so many people I couldn't show you. Costco. Even though that's not the front of Costco. Well, I mean it is, but it's the side front. Let's go do some Costcoing. Okay, same store, different day. Mmm, that looks so good. I love this kind of cereal. Yummy, mmm, granola bars. Spindrift, I haven't tried that yet, I don't think. All right, let's go see what we need. Okay, so we got Robert a netbook whatever those things are called. Right. Chromebook, he just needs something basically to browse the internet because his laptop died. And then I got these for us. Uh, I haven't told you about the batteries I normally use, which were recalled. So I needed to replace them. So we're gonna try these. So one for me and one for Robert. And uh, we do need to get new AirPods, but not right now. That's not in the budget this week. I'm gonna wait for like new ones to come out. We haven't gotten new ones. Okay, and this is what I want. Robert and I are kind of debating on what to get, but this, this is the one. Whoops, this is the one that I want. I lost Robert, so I'm gonna have to come back and sit down and see how this feels. No, I think that was the wrong one. Here it is, it's this one. This one. All right, well, I can't show you the whole thing, but there it is. Okay, here's the whole thing. I don't know, we're gonna really give this some consideration. All right, I have my list here. Let's get busy shopping. All right. Ooh, that's, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Interesting. I'm still going to stick to the Rayos. And spaghetti. Let's see. It's not thin spaghetti, is it? No. $12.99. It's not too bad. Ooh. Chandler loves this kind of stuff. Not this time. I keep forgetting to zoom you out. Chickpea, white rice. Just want to make sure there's not a better deal. Do you want to get those again? You really like? Oh, that's cauliflower. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. It's probably pretty good. Not today. Chicken broth, bone broth. Okay, and mac and cheese good deal on this. Alrighty, let's get Chandler some taquitos, which weren't on the list, but they're on sale, so we're going to get some, and he really likes them. Rob likes them too. They both eat them. <laughs> we are hungry, yes. Look at that. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. So, for those of you... There you go. I can't really see that. Nice. Okay, oh my, look at that. Mm. Okay, that was all of that. Don't need any of this, all right. Look what we found. Robert will definitely eat that. That looks good, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get two, yeah. Oh, yummy. Mm. Gotta love Costco. 
they're three dollars off saving money oh yeah we're not gonna go to waste in our house okay now we need cheese and butter mm. love me some carry gold but not today not today cheese we always need cheese I just saw on my list frozen chicken thighs. I completely forgot I was gonna try, excuse me, sorry, try some for Buddy here because we get them, there we go. Skinless, boneless, skinless, breast, breasts, tenderloins, breast fillets, wings, oh no. Nobody seems to have thighs except the grocery store and um, just trying to find a less expensive way because you know Buddy is on chicken and rice so and that gets really expensive <laughs> trying to keep up with his um, food Some chicken breast chicken breast ground beef nope they don't have, so I'll just have to keep getting it at the grocery store. It's still kind of expensive there. Okay, so hearty wings, chicken thighs, air chilled. Okay, so this one is chicken thighs. Where's $1.49 per pound. And this one is $3.49 per pound. So I think this is the better deal so we will this isn't bone in is it I can't tell wait I'll, I'll figure it out hang on okay the other had bone in so this is boneless skinless it's 30 bucks but uh, this is about three weeks about roughly we got to find a less expensive way right, so we got some eggs this blender over there got toilet paper paper towels and that is it we are out the door Costco got enough of our money today. <laughs> Woo, ouch. Well over $300 <laughs> and we didn't even buy the couch. Oh, there we go. But we did get Robert's computer, which he did need. So, here we go. Oh, and the batteries. That was a need also. Just me again. I just dropped off Robert at Discount Tire. We're gonna wait and do Finn tomorrow because uh, we have a car full of groceries and it's so hot. So I'm trying to get home to get them out of the car because it's just so hot. They're just gonna melt. Anyway, all right, so uh, we're done grocery shopping. So I'll see you in a little bit. How you doing, man? How you doing, little man? Tomorrow the big day, baby? Is it the big day? Oh. Good morning. I should sing to you this morning. Hi ho, hi ho. It's back to the bed we go. Yes, back to the bed we go. <laughs> this morning it is Mr. Bruce's turn. He is doing much better in the car this morning than he normally does. Um, he seems much more relaxed. Um, the first couple times he was like, what is happening? I do not like this. Please get me out of here. <laughs> so, but he's much better this morning. Yes, baby boy. He's looking at me. He's not relaxed, but he's doing better. Anyway, this morning it is about 6.58. Um, we are headed to the vet. It is Bruce's turn to be neutered. So, um, yeah, so we have his little sample with us and um, he's gonna get neutered today and I'm very very happy for him and uh, we have not made any decisions in, re in regards to his future with us or with somebody else if somebody else comes along and says hey I would really love him we will talk about it but it has to be the right person no animals in their home and um, be willing well of course not willing it's mandatory he's an inside cat only and that he be treated as though he's really wanted and loved 
because Bruce is extremely affectionate with everyone. And I have fallen completely in love with this baby. But for his best life, it would be best for him to live just as himself. He would love a playmate, but if there's another HIV positive cat, that's probably fine. I don't know for sure, but. Oh, we're gonna hit some traffic. Ooh, let me exit. I can take the feeder road because I don't really have time to hit traffic. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, so, you know, he has more testing to be done, more blood work to be done just to double check some other things and um, he's had if you have a queasy stomach don't listen he's had um, diarrhea for quite some time now and we've been in and out of the bed for it and nothing is healing it so we have to figure out what's going on there is it food is it what what is it we have to figure that out well, he seemed to be moving we're not moving up there, so we're going to go off here. Anyway, um, he's, uh, we got to figure that out. So there's that. Anyway, when I get home from taking this baby to the doctor, um, I'm going to show you my, the tank top that I got. I think I showed you a picture of it last week. The tank top I got in the mail from ThreadUp, I purchased from ThreadUp. Then I will pop across the screen. Well, I can do it now. I made one last purchase from ThreadUp and I will be purchasing no more. I am heavy into linen and to silk. And um, I'm not, I don't need any more clothing. I absolutely need no more clothing. They keep running these sales on ThreadUp and I need to learn, because I'm still new to the website, I need to learn that that is just what they do. And I don't need to purchase. I will continue to peruse the site and if I find something special, I'll likely buy it, but I also need to get everything out of my closet and send over to ThreadUp. Um, you know, after getting that first order, I realized that I don't need new with tags. I don't need brand new. Um, I don't wear my nice clothing enough to need something brand new. And I realize this is a way for me to be able to afford nicer pieces of clothing that will last me years to come. And if they don't, I've gotten them at such a reasonable price that I can send them back to thread up for somebody else to love. I am liking that. Um, now that's not to say that I'm not still gonna donate to shelters and women's shelters and things like that, because I am, because that's really important to me. Um, I like to donate everyday clothing to shelters, women's shelters in particular. I like to donate nicer clothing so that way women trying to get a job, trying to, you know, further expand or change their life, whatever, I want to also donate nicer things to that. So my whole point to that ramble is I purchased this dress, which is 100% linen, new with tags, Nicole Miller not familiar with that brand but it's linen and it's a green color that I thought was really pretty so I purchased that I purchased this J crew dress which is hundred percent linen which I just thought was really really pretty um, I like the length of these dresses they're a good length and I purchased these shoes now I have not purchased shoes from thread up I am one who is extremely icked out by shoes I don't even like to try them on at the store. I will, but I usually like to make sure I have a sock on or something. Um, I'm just weird about that. But these looked unused, unworn. So I figured if I can wear a bowling shoe, I can wear this. So, but I'm gonna try it out. They may not fit, but they're the Mia brand and I really like that brand sandal. Shoe, I have a pair of Mia shoes that, and sandals, I've had boots and sandals fit really well so I wanted to try them my hair y'all I'm a mess today anyway um I basically only have bronzer and blush and um my oh baby what yes you okay 
almost there, sweetheart. You're so sweet. He just talks and talks and talks. He's just such a lover, such a sweet baby. Anyway, I think I got something else. I don't remember what it is. And then I got this piece. I have a, a tank top just like this in the pink that I really like. So I bought the gray and silver one. It's very, very pretty. And all of that's in a bundle. It hasn't shipped yet. So, um, you know, when that ships, I'll try it on and show you if you're even interested. But a couple of the things that I picked up before are now available again, like other people have sent them in. So I'll try and link them if you're interested in them. You probably aren't, but whatever. So, okay, uh, I'm gonna take him into the vet and then I'm gonna head home and I will see you after the vet or uh, at home. I will see you at home. It's gonna be okay, love bucket. You're gonna be okay, love. They are so sweet in there. So, so sweet. What do we do with boxes and Chewy when Chewy comes in? The cats get the stuff in and they love it. Buddy, buddy, leave that for the kitty cats. Buddy loves to shred cardboard and paper. Don't eat it. No, don't eat it. No, 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 don't eat it. No. Uh -uh. Oh, Buddy. <laughs> well, Grayson was playing around, but it's his favorite when mommy puts the chewy boxes down. I am not a happy kitty, but I'm all done and I did so well. We're gonna go home now, love bucket. Let's go home. Oh, Brucey Woosie. Look how different he looks, you guys. Maybe he doesn't look different to you, but I know, baby. He definitely looks different to me. Oh, Brucey baby, you only have to be in there for a few hours while the sed sedatives wear off, okay? It's just not safe for you to be on the couch or anything. You could fall and hurt yourself. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Yes, you did so well. I just don't like this thing. I can't bite it. I can't do anything. They said uh, after today we can put minis on him, which is a little smaller, and we will. But they said after today, because he needs the bigger one for now. Oh, sweet baby, he's such a good boy. And we can feed him in a couple of hours. So, oh, so ready to feed him and water him and let him relax. What a mess, I know. It has been a day, y'all. Um, after I took Bruce to the vet this morning, chaos ensued. Um, well, after I picked him up from the vet this afternoon, I suppose. Uh, the doors broke on the trailer, on our trailer. We had to move. Ugh. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Robert's exhausted. Robert is absolutely exhausted. He's in the pool. Um, because it was so hot. In the heat of the day, we're out there moving stuff. <sighs> anyway, needless to say, we're exhaust exhausted. He's heat exhausted. Well, I mean, not literally, so he got in the pool. But here is my new, um, what is this called? The top that I told you about from um, Thread Up. Isn't it cute? It is Italian cities. <laughs> I don't think I didn't realize that. It's little Italian cities. So perfect for Venezia. Perfect. Is this a size six? Um, I can wear a four or six. It really just depends. And I'm going to wear this with like a tank top bra. So it's fine. Yeah, it's a six. I mean, I'll try it on after it's been dry cleaned. I, of course, I take everything over to the dry cleaner. So when everything else comes in,
skincare wrapper. When everything else comes in, I will dry clean this. Buddy. Come here, Percy. Percy. You want to see your friends? To say hello to your friends? There you go. He's doing very well. He has to put his comb back on. So, but I'm letting him have a little bit of a break while I watch him. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next week. I mean, hopefully the thread up won't be in by then. So, but uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>